overlooked miracle drug for cancer, why big pharma fears fenbesdazole. At least 12 yeah. anti-cancer mechanisms of action, nine research papers reviewed. So I think this stuff is supposed to be low cost, and this is some of the speculation, the conspiracy theory about like why people are afraid of it. Hmm. I just found out about this a couple of days ago. Yeah. Ben, go stop right there. Has at least 12 proven anti-cancer mechanisms in vitro and in vivo. Mm -hmm. It disrupts uh, microtubulate polymerization. Yeah. Major mechanism induces cell cycle, whatever that means, arrest, uh, blocks glucose transport and impairs glucose utilization by cancer cells, increases P53 tumor suppressor levels, inhibits cancer cell viability, inhibits cancer cell migration and invasion, induces uh, ap apoptosis, induces autography, uh, induces prio Pryoptosis and necrosis induces differentiation and senescence. Sen yeah. Inhibits tuner angiogenesis, reduces colony form formation and inhibits stemness in cancer cells. Inhibits drug resistance and sensitizes cells to conventional chemo as well as radiation therapy. A similar drug in the same family has already been approved by the FDA. And that is uh, mebendazole, uh, and it is in several, uh, several clinical trials right now for brain cancers and colon cancers. Mm -hmm. So why are no fenbendazole clinical trials for cancer? The answer seems rather obvious. Rather obvious. <laughs> it's very cheap, it's safe, and it seems to be effective, yeah. very effective. Exactly. Interesting. Big, Interesting. Pharma, big pharma don't see a margin in it. I want. I mean, if that, uh, who knows? But if that is the case, I mean, what an enemy of the people. They're preventing information and preventing people from using things. Yeah. That well, we've we've created a that. society that seems to be designed to make us sick, and then big pharma steps in with so-called remedies for it, which happen to make some people a lot of money.